got a new 360 panoramic uh, camera. Uh, it's from Xiaomi. Uh, mostly they are sold in China. Besides like Banggood, they can ship to other countries. Uh, let's open it and uh, take a look. Uh, I'm a big fan of Xiaomi. Uh, it, it is a well-known brand in China. I also use uh, their other products around the house as well. Um, let's take it out. Let's see. First, let's uh, remove the stickers on the lens. It doesn't come with a housing, uh, but it is uh, waterproof. So, But for the lens, I think I will put a pretty printed cover for it because I don't want to get my fingerprints on the lens. Uh, it looks this looks well constructed and it feels really nice. Xiaomi us usually have a nice uh, industrial design. Let's see what's underneath. Okay, it looks like it comes with the tripod. And what else in this one? Is that a case? Oh, some cable. Uh, cable. Oh, it's definitely. Uh, there is a bed for you to maybe when you go outside, it helps to uh, prevent the dust. So they give you a bag. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Uh, I also have a old 360 uh, LG camera. Let's uh, let's compare this to. So this two is about the same size. Uh, I already show you what it looks like. I think everybody wants to know how it works. So I'm going to install the app and then I will show you how the software works. Let's take a look uh, from the outside. On the top, there are three buttons. This is the recording button. This is the Wi-Fi button that uh, used to pair it up with the app. Uh, and this is the power button. Let's turn, turn it on. It makes a weird noise. Okay, it's on now. You can see um, I'm on the video mode. And if you tap it once, we will switch uh, between camera mode to uh, video mode. Uh, let's just put it aside and let's go take a look at the app. The app is called Me Sophia Camera. Uh, on the first page, you can see a lot of people post their work, and they're all in Chinese. And uh, if your uh, system, if on your phone, you uh, your default language is English, it will definitely, uh, the app is also uh, English, it's not Chinese. But if your default language is Chinese, then it is Chinese. And let's connect, let's uh, turn on the Wi-Fi to connect with the app. So now it's connected. Yeah. Let me take some pictures of myself. Catherine? <laughs> okay, I think you should just show the picture. Oh. Maybe not. Let's do it again. So, it, so you have to download the picture first to transfer to the local storage and then you can build it like the quality is pretty good and uh, it comes with the basic edit function you can't do much on it, I don't think so we have some filters and uh, you can build it in different uh, mode 
We have mirror ball. We have little planet. I don't like this one. It looks weird. Makes my head look so big. Makes me look like alien. And we have light. And also a uh, panel. I prefer the mirror ball, so let's look at that. Mirror ball. What else? Screen. Okay. Two screen. No, I only need one screen. I don't have a twin, so I don't need two screen. From gyro scope. I think it's like uh, it's gyro stabilizer. It's the gyro sensor that stabilizes the pictures and the video. So this is the photo gyroscope. And I want to see I this uh, it claim it it's a uh, uh, it can pre uh, prevent shaking. So let's check it out. Let's uh, take some videos. So I'm going to uh, put the camera on the other tripod and see if it's actually uh, uh, prevent from shaking. And so now it's recording. Let's see. So this is me. Can you see me? And I stop recording and done. and okay. Now it's uh, down to my uh, local storage. If I click on uh, gyro calibration, what will happen? It's not super shaky, it's just I was just scro scrolling the uh, camera. It's not bad, but no matter what, after the after the file is being compressed, it's definitely uh, it definitely degrade uh, the quality. But uh, I think when you build it in YouTube, you can choose the quality. I think it won't be bad. I think it will still be fine. But it takes some time to learn how to use uh, the uh, settings. Like let's go to see the settings here. The resolution is. 3456 multiple 1728 white balance auto exposure compensation recording cycle is turned off now resolution of the photos videos they have the same function I think except uh, uh, exposure uh, iOS I ISO sorry ISO In the camera we have the Wi-Fi setting and if your SD card is full you can format your SD card in the app. And the preview mode, we have a mirror ball, flat, little planning, and panel as I show you. Turn off automatically. And uh, the good thing is when I uh, w uh, go outside and I don't want people to know I'm filming, I can always turn the LED lights off. When I turn off, you can see. So the lights is off now. You can't see anything. You cannot see the uh, camera mode or video mode because I turn it off. So people doesn't won't know you're filming. Device name, serial number, firmware version. I think um, you have, after you download the app, you have to check if the firmware is up to date because it probably affects the SD card too. I don't know. But somehow if you mess it up, you can always use the restore factory settings function. So that's it. And the camera, I think, compared to my LG 360, it's definitely worth the price. This is around uh, $275. And if I, I would say it's the compared to the quality, it's definitely really, uh, it's even better. I think the Xiaomi quality is even better than my LG 360. And it has the driver sensor. 
if you're interested in 360 camera, I think this is a good one for beginner. And I think I'm going to shoot more. <laughs> 